Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Mystical Mermaid. I am lighting this and getting this started. I'm doing our daily guidance, folks. I'm going to go ahead and add the camera. I'm sure someone will complain, but that's okay. I'm actually going to try something a little new today, so bear with me, folks. Let me bless these. May the right person receive the right message, please, Spirit, at the right time. May it be clear and precise, dear God. Thank you for letting us have another day. Let us uplift one another. Forgive us for our sins of all short. Short little sweet name of pray. Amen. All right, folks. Now. Let me see how this works. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to try something a little new, so just bear with me, okay? I keep forgetting where the camera is. I'm sorry. Um, this is our daily guidance. I am going to use um, definitely my, for the tarot, I'm going to use the trip and weight, okay? It is, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's my little hippie deck there. I've actually got two different ones just very much alike on those. And then I've got some decks I've made that I would like for you guys to see. I don't know what just happened with that light. I don't know if it was my eyes or if it did this. But anyways, all right, folks. Well, let's go ahead and get started with the cards. Thank you guys for being here. If it's your first time, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up for me. It won't take but just a second. And if you don't like it, then go ahead and put it down. That's fine, too. As long as you show me something, okay? And please let me know if you like the way I do this camera. Um, if you'd rather me not, then let me know. There may be a small echo, and I promise I've tried to Google it and figure it out, and I still can't. Even when it's on mute, it still echoes. So, um, be patient and bear with me. Don't be too harsh on me with comments, okay? Anyways, you guys, let's go ahead to the cards here. All right. Here, let me put this over here. So I don't hear myself. I put it on the headset on the other camera, even though it's on mute and it's still, I still could hear a little echo. So hopefully you guys can't. I'm, I'm going to watch it on the, um, on the uh, thing before I upload it. It's so weird to see me so little over there, but these are over. Okay, anyways, so I hope you guys like this. Let me know. Okay. And I guess while I'm playing with it and I'm getting y'all's opinion, I can do it like that, or I can actually um, bring them up a little bigger. So what do you guys think? I personally would like the bigger because I'm blind <laughs> and I can't find my glasses. But I don't know what you guys would like that would bring the cards up bigger if I did that. But just let me know, okay? I kind of like it like this. Um, if you don't care to, put a one if you agree with me and you like the bigger. But if you like the smaller where the cards are bigger, then put a two in the comments, okay? And don't forget, y'all, if this resonates with you, hashtag resonate for a chance to win a reading with me. Um, I know I've got behind in all these messages and stuff, but I want to show my appreciation. So I think I'll go ahead and choose a winner um, and then sometime today probably. Um, also, you guys, I'm going to make a post here in a minute. If you guys are members, please make sure that you watch for the membership only um, post because I'm going to have a live for just the members to kind of talk about all the cases, talk about some questions and just kind of get some tea and everything. You know how we do it. Um I want everybody to be there, though, okay? So if there's a day that you just absolutely cannot, I know that Quinn wasn't feeling well. 
and Alexander. There's just, I, I want us all to be together, okay? And if you guys haven't joined the members already, please do, okay? If you choose the very top one, which is $24, um, it is, um, you'll get questions when you, uh, we have the lives, you'll get all kinds of extras, and I'm going to plan on doing at least one live a week, okay, for the members. Um, if, if you're the top paying one, definitely. If you are the lower one, then I may have a live, but not answer so many questions, okay? All right. So, let's get going. That was a lot to talk about, wasn't it? Anyways, so let's start with, um, let's get the overall energy, okay, for you guys today. I don't think I was not getting good morning. Good morning, good morning, All right. I kind of feel weird. I think I am going to make that smaller for now, but you guys let me know, okay? <laughs> All right. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Verse all that's fine and holy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to turn around a little bit here. All right. What is the overall energy, please, Spirit, for the collective watching this video? What is the overall energy? And there it goes. We have the solar plexus chakra. Okay. Give me one more. Why that? Movement, choices, decisions. Mm. And it's a two. There's one kind of sticking out here. Sacral. With the spiritual union. Okay. So, this is definitely going to be about... Um, a connection that you are deeply and passionate about. Um, but it, just by looking at the energy right here, it we've got deception and envy on the bottom. So someone may be trying to deceive you, um, keep something from you, someone that you love. Um, I feel like they're going to have these choices here. Or you're going to have choices. Maybe it's you that is going to possibly deceive someone. Okay. We will figure it out. All right. So let's lay these her. Well, I was going to put them on that. But we'll wait. All right. So let's figure it out. Let's get the tarot here. This is for the collective police spirit. Watching this video. Tell us about the situation, please. Tell us about the situation. What do we need to know? For the collective watching the video, what do we need to know about the situation? What is it that they need to know? These are really thick. There we go. Okay. What do they need to know about this? All right, we have the Nine of Swords, okay? Can you guys see that? Now, this is that anxiety. This is that um, not having sleep. This is like me. You're going to get an hour or two a, a night, and you're just going to be a little worked up or maybe a lot worked up. Um this is definitely like why the nine of swords. We have the judgment. See, someone's got a decision. Perhaps you. You've got a decision to make. Okay. Wow. This is heavy energy, folks, coming in. This is heavy energy. What do you need to embrace? What does the collective watching this? Okay, we have the Six of Swords, this or no, Six of Wands, and this was in the reverse, okay? So, this is, I talk about this being either my work success, my victory, or this is our ego, right? So, don't let your ego 
be an issue, okay? I, I feel like you need to embrace your humbleness, your kindness, um, tune in to that, okay? Um, be empathetic. Yeah, see, this is Ten of Cups literally right here, okay? I wanted to get some clarity. This is going to be someone that you care for. This is going to, someone that you care for is really going to test you, okay? So you're going to have to be nurturing. You can stand your ground, but be nurturing as well, okay? All right, now, what do they need to avoid with the situation? What do they need to avoid? We have the Three of Swords. So... Don't break anybody's heart. Don't let yours get hurt. Okay? Don't be so sensitive while the three of swords. We have the world. A cycle is ending. Okay? So something is ending just so something new can come in. Aren't these pretty, y'all? I love them. Let's see what was on the bottom. Look at here. We have the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck, and underneath that, we have the Justice. So, someone's being butt hurt. Someone's being petty. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's them. Someone is that you're connected with. It could be yourself, okay? We'll see if we can get as much as we can with these, all right? All right. Now, where does the collective watching this go from here? Where do they go from here? And we have the Four of Swords, and it was in reverse. And we have the Queen of Cups, it was in reverse. And we have the Ten of Wands, that was in reverse. Even one more. And we have the Emperor. Wow. Okay. And then we have the Devil in reverse on the bottom. Okay. So, whew. Lord have mercy, Jesus. All right, so basically, this is telling me that you're going to let it all go. Literally, all these cards to say this one, that you're going to get your shit together. You're going to get things in order. You're going to, and this, or this could be um, if you're fighting with your husband or your partner, okay, because this is a leader here. This is usually the man of the house. This is usually the father figure, but I'm not really doing a reading on the father. I'm doing a reading on you. Okay. But how they're facing one another. Okay. It does kind of make me feel like this could be your partner. Um, at least you guys are not back to back, right? Um, if, it, if this is now, this could just be your energy and you literally, okay. Let's talk about each of these. We have the Four of Swords. All right. That was in reverse. This is that card where I always say, this is the rest. This is the be still and let God move, right? Well, it's in reverse. So this is, you're going to release things and move forward cautiously. Okay. Kind of like the um, chariot. Okay, now we have the Queen of Cups here in reverse. All right, now the Queen of Cups is very um, emotional, very loving, very giving, very. Um, when it's in reverse, she is easy to manipulate, she is easy to. <sighs> You guys know how it is to be an empath, okay? And it's like we think we can fix everybody, right? But we can't. So I feel like this is God saying, okay, I need you to embrace right here your empathy. and But at some point, you're going to have to understand that it goes too far, I guess, um, to the point of taking advantage. Um, someone's really going to, I don't know, perhaps, um, 
I need this. I need this. I need another hundred dollars. I need fifty dollars. I need twenty dollars. And to the point to where it's, you know, maybe they're being lazy. I, I don't. Um, maybe they're using it for something, and and you're worried about it because you are most definitely worried about something. Okay, you've got the ten of wands here, the weight of the world on you, but. At the end of the day with this situation, guess what? You're going to release them, okay? I feel like you're going to get in that, that <laughs> you may be the one in that, was was that on the that four of cups? You may be the one but hurt, but I don't quite, I, I feel like it is justified. I feel like Whatever situation this is, folks, whatever I'm talking about, whether it be with your mom, your sister, your brother, your lover, um, your partner, whatever it is, I feel like you need to. Um, I feel like you need to let them grow up. You need to loosen that a little bit. OK, I feel like you like control and I feel like you are the kind of person that. If you don't have control, then you think everything's just going to fall apart. It, it, and you're probably right, honestly. You're probably right. But you're not going to be here forever, right? You're not going to live forever. What are you going to do when whoever this is doesn't have you anymore? God forbid that could happen, right? So we always need to try to help them be a in, independent enough to be able to take care of themselves, right? Y'all get what I'm saying, hopefully. All right. So that's you taking order. That's you being a leader. That's you showing them the what you're being an influence. You're being a mentor. You're being someone for them to look up to here. Okay. Now, before we move on, I would really, really like to see. Oh, and let me talk about on the bottom here. We have that devil. OK, now, of course, we know what the devil is. Of right. Well, this is y'all trying to fix it. Something was toxic. Maybe somebody was um, struggling with addiction that they're trying to overcome. Um, maybe someone is. And addiction addiction doesn't have to be just be uh, alcohol or substances. It could be food, it could be porn, um, anything like that, okay? Um, or you guys could just be fighting constantly and it just be very negative. Whatever this is, kept your vibrations really low and kept your heart really heavy. So, it, obviously, see? And it kept you up at night, okay? So, you've made a decision or God's trying to advise you to make a decision to release it out, literally, to release it, okay? To cut those chains, to break those chains. Um, I, I'm kind of curious as to who this is. So um, I'm feeling definitely a little younger, or a lot, <laughs> definitely younger. Um, I'm feeling earth sign, big time earth. Um, I feel like... Um, well, I'm, I'm telling you, um, someone has tan skin, black hair, um, earth sign, like I said, Capricorn, Virgo. Did I say Taurus? I don't even know. If I, I'm sorry. I was connected with you guys and I was like, wait a minute. I didn't finish those. I meant to say Taurus. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. I was trying to see who I seen. 
with this because this is heavy and, and I am afraid that this is something with addiction, you guys. They might have been hiding it from you. Or it's something that, it could be something that you guys didn't want to face. You were in denial or something like that. All right, can you tell me who this is with? With the collective? Who is this that's going to to be involved with the collective? People watching the collective? Who will this be with? All right. <clears throat> we have the sun. Definitely could be a Leo. Okay. And this one's going to come out. And we've got the death. So it could be Scorpio. And then on the bottom, we have the nine of wands, okay? This is that wounded warrior, okay? So, and that's earth energy. I mean, fires. Lord, what is wrong with me? Um, on the bottom of the deck here, we've got that four of pentacles where we're holding on, okay? Holding on, keeping it close, and it's in reverse, like ace of wands, see? Um, yeah, you definitely could be dealing with fire. I'm getting fire and Scorpio really heavy and then the earth, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be those signs. Um, I, I just was telling you, I know a lot of you guys like to know that. Um, with this Ace of Wands, this is a passionate offer, right? It, but it's like radiating, okay? It's, like, it's almost like that knowledge card. All right, so definitely something that has been brought to your attention, I feel. But you know how I said you were holding it close with this four of pentacles, right? Okay, you're, you're going to let them loose. All right, you're going to give them a little bit more rope, right? Or chain or freedom or something, okay? Definitely releasing something. All right, so let's get some cards. I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. Boy, that is heavy energy, folks. I really hope that you guys found something helpful in that. I truly do. All right, y'all. Now, let's get... Let's start with these. I actually read through these and I didn't necessarily, I, I've had them for so long and you thought they were new, but I just, well, that's strange. I didn't even see that open, but that door is wide open now. Anyways, um, I didn't necessarily just like what they had said, and I don't know what made me, but I decided to write something on every single card, so hopefully it resonates with you guys. I prayed about it before I did it, so let's see how it works out, okay? What does the person watching this collective reading need to know about this situation, what do they need to know about the situation? Maybe clear and precise. Please hear it. Clear and precise. What does the collective need to hear about the situation? Let's get to you. Bloopers. Or a couple. <laughs> All right. On the bottom, we have, you are not a rehab center. You can't fix everyone. Holy crap. Hashtag resonate. Did I not? I think I might even said those exact words. Did I not? Okay. And then what was on the card is oneness is my true nature. And then, like I said, I had wrote, you are not a rehab center. You can't fix everyone. Isn't that something? Wow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. And it's talking about rehab. You guys, I feel like it is addiction or something. Lord, I do. All right. I'll read the card first. It says, I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love 
and miracles are natural. I wrote on here, you're being mindful of what you put out. All right. So, you know how I say you're going, you, you need to be mindful. You're manifesting right now. Um, even if we're not manifesting, folks, you need to understand whatever it is that we're putting out, that's what we're receiving. So if we're putting hateful or mean and cold and hurtful, what do you think we're going to get back? Right. You're being very mindful of that or someone you're dealing with is being mindful. All right. Then we have. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Let your light shine. Then we have. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the way I see the world. And then I wrote, keep moving forward, even if it's not the pace you want it to be. Okay. Now, the last one of these is. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. And it says financial constraints is what I had wrote on it. Now, the ripple effects. Perhaps you have to help someone with the money issues, like I mentioned. Perhaps you have to pay for something to help them. Um, hmm. What was underneath that? I just want to see here. How you make others feel says a lot about you. Wow. I swore that's what that says. Um, let's get a couple of these that I made. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Guardian Angels. Thank you, Universe. All oh, that's fine and holy. Thank you. Thank you. What does the collective watching this video need to hear, please, about the situation? Triumph and success. Loyalty needs assurance. OK, so whoever this is, definitely trust you. OK, you're someone they trust. Let's get two more. For the collective about the situation. Or three. <laughs> On the bottom, we have an older person or committee frustrates you. An older person. Ooh, or maybe you're the older person that frustrates somebody. <laughs> right? Oops. All right. We have be the witness. Again, this is about letting your light shine. Okay? This is not letting anybody steal your shine. Beware hidden motives. Okay? So be careful with that situation. Show them what you are made of. Traveling soon. And not the time to take any chances. Okay. Um, those last two might have came out um, sticking to the other ones. But please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. For the next person. All right. Now this. I'll pull two from here and two from here, and that way I can just show you guys what I had done. Obviously, I made some daily guidances ones and then added these, and then I made a deck here, a small little deck of um, their Native American symbols, and then I've got some other symbols here, okay? All right. This is for the collective play spirit about this situation. What is it that they need to hear, please? Give me two cards. What they need to hear about this situation. We have the seeds. Okay, this is a male. And then we have basically, look, fertility and the joy. I don't know how to say that word, but the drawing's cute, huh? Um the male and the female 
Let's get one more. Let's get this and stick it out. It says sky band leading to happiness. Okay, so listen, it may take a minute. You may not be on the pace that you want, but you're getting there. Okay, on the bottom, it says, oh my, we have the enclosure here. Okay, that means that there's going to be some sort of um, celebration that you're going to have to protect or um, perhaps, um, for instance, say your son comes home, mom, I got her pregnant, we're getting married, you know, and then all heck breaks loose and you just know somebody's going to end up stopping the wedding. So you protect it, right? Okay, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. And then these are my symbols. That is just my top there. All right. <clears throat> this is for collectively spirit. Let us be clear and precise, dear God. I will be trying to um, print these decks off. So if you would be interested, try to motivate me and inspire me. <laughs> Let's try to figure it out. I've been struggling to figure it out how to do it. Um, my other two decks, though, you guys will love. I've not used those yet because I really don't know how y'all feel about them. But, man, I think they're good, folks. Anyways, I like these, too. All right, y'all. What did the collective need to hear, please? What do they need to hear? All right, we have the woman, which is the female, and then we have beauty. Okay, so listen, this is basically saying, like, harmonies on the bottom, okay? So I feel like instead of being in that anxious, depressed, you're going to take that power back, okay? You're going to take that lead. Give me one more. About this situation. The outcome about the situation. Okay, let's just see. All right, we do have the winter card on the bottom, okay, for the outcome. So maybe something significant is going to happen for during the winter or towards the winter. We do have grace. Okay, and we have spring and summer, which is right now. Okay, so perhaps God's like, okay, it's going to take all summer, the rest of summer, through the winter, for you guys to have your grace, okay, um, to get where you guys need to be with this situation. I'm here. Um, if you need me, holler at me, contact me. There's my email, you guys. Um, I freaking adore you. Thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please put a thumbs up. Tomorrow, I'll use some of these cards, um, that you want me to. Let me know, um, and I'll use runes, okay? Just to kind of switch it up a little bit, Okay. Y'all, I love you so much, and I will see you later. If you guys would like a private reading, please holler at me. I really need the kids some school clothes and stuff that, well, I've had someone to be kind, and, but there, there is some, you know, stuff that we need to get. Um, so if you would like to purchase a reading, that would be wonderful right now, okay? All right, y'all. I love yins. I appreciate yins. Don't forget, thumbs up. Let's uplift one another, okay? I'll uplift you. You uplift me and everyone else. Be praying about the Wells family. Um, my heart's been heavy. I went live last night. Um, if you would like to watch that live, we actually, I just answered a couple questions um, for you guys. And then the rest of it we talked about all the cases for like two hours <laughs> and I was only supposed to be on an hour. Anyways, you guys, I'll see you later. Okay. Love one another. Be kind to one another. I'll see you later. Bye.